Recently, we told you the story of Squanto and how he helped the pilgrims with the three sisters. Corn, beans, and squash could be planted together with a fish for fertilizer, and they helped each other as they grew. But today I'm going to tell you another story that starts with this coin. It's a dollar coin, and on the back actually shows a woman planting the three sisters. And on the front, it's the image of a woman with a baby on her back that commemorates her life. Today we're going to talk about Sacagawea. As we look at history, like Joseph sold into slavery, what the devil meant for harm, God turned into good. And this story is just as huge of an adventure. Like Squanto was abducted from his tribe, so was Sacagawea. Sacagawea was a princess and the daughter of a prominent Shoshone chief. When she was 12 years old, she was captured and made a slave by the Hidatsa Sioux. As a teenager, she was sold to a French trapper, Toussaint Charbonneau, to be his wife. We meet Charbonneau when he was hired for the Lewis and Clark expedition as an interpreter and a guide. He would lead them into the unknown wilderness that lay up the Missouri River. In 1805, during their first winter camp at Fort Mandan in what is today North Dakota, Sacagawea gave birth to a baby boy. She named Jean Baptiste, but William Clark named him Pompey. Charbonneau turned out to be a useless drunk and of no help to the expedition. He was disciplined by both Lewis and Clark. But Sacagawea, this smart teenager with a newborn baby strapped to a cradle board on her back, stepped up to be the one and guide the men and teach them how to navigate through the wilderness. She helped them communicate with the tribes they met and showed them how to read signs, how to hunt and track in this strange land. She was an indispensable member of the crew. One day, in a squall, the boat capsized because Charbonneau panicked and all of Lewis's writings and much of the gear was floating away. Sacagawea jumped into the river and saved the baggage and the gear while one of the crew threatened to shoot the Frenchman if he didn't pull himself together. It was Sacagawea that saved the day, a baby and all. Little Pompey became the mascot of the expedition and later in life, Clark would adopt him and see to his education. But they still had to climb the arduous mountains to find the headwaters of the Missouri. When they arrived, one of the men celebrated this by standing with one foot on one bank and the other foot on the other bank saying, thank God, I've lived to bestride the mighty Missouri. They pushed on and weeks turned into months. The men had to hide and store all their gear and supplies they couldn't carry. Not only was their mission to reach the Pacific in doubt, they were starving. Without help, they might not make it out alive. While drinking from a stream, Lewis saw an Indian's reflection in the water. It was the Shoshone chief, Kamiawait. Normally, he would have been, at that point, the end of the expedition, but he followed Lewis back to the camp, and there he met Sacagawea. She instantly recognized him as her long-lost brother. The tribe was so thankful to be reunited with Sacagawea, they helped Lewis and Clark by equipping them with horses and food and a guide over the mountains to the Columbia River, which they could follow to the Pacific. Sacagawea could have left the team at that point. However, the team needed her. This amazing woman opted to continue with the expedition instead of staying with her beloved tribe and family. Lewis and Clark's mission helped us connect the two coasts of America and it opened up the West first for fur trappers and then the missionaries. When the news got back east that a Christian trapper, Jedediah Smith, had taken wagons across the Rockies, the New England churches responded, where wagons can go, women can go. And where women can go, missionaries can go. And it was women who were the first to cross the Rockies not to settle, but to take the gospel to the Native Americans. This story is about a brave person who decided to step up and be the right person at the right time in the right place. Sacagawea is a true American hero and her generous heart and willingness to be the one started what would be many revivals coast to coast. Today, we remember her on this coin.
Sacagawea.